If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos. The question reads, a surface condenser must handle 83,33 kg of steam per minute. The steam is 15% wet. The vacuum reading is 655 mm mercury and barometer reading is 760 mm mercury. An air leakage is estimated on 0.85 kg per 1000 kg outlet steam penetrating the condenser. The temperature of the condensate and air pump suction is 39 degrees Celsius. The cooling water is at 17,5 and leaves the condenser at 41,6 degrees Celsius. The condenser condition is given as follows. Mass of steam MS is equals to 83,33 kilograms per minute. Since the steam is 15% wet, we substitute 15 in 100 and we have Q to be 0 0.85. The vacuum reading is 655 mm mercury and barometer reading is 760 mm mercury. The temperature of the condensate and air pump suction is 39 degrees Celsius. This temperature is the same as the temperature of air TA. The cooling water is at 17,5 and leaves the condenser at 41,6 degrees Celsius. An air leakage is estimated on 0 0.85 kg per 1000 kg outlet steam penetrating the condenser. Let me divide the screen here for more space. Ok. First question says. Calculate the mass of cooling MW. To calculate MW we will use this formula that says heat emitted by the steam is equal to the heat absorbed by the water. Mass of steam MS open bracket H1 plus HC close bracket equals to MW CPW open bracket T4 minus T3, close bracket. Before we calculate mass of cooling water MW, first let's calculate H1, H1 is also equals to Q times HFG, HFG is latent heat at condenser pressure, which we calculated by using the manometer and barometer reading. And it's equals to 9,997. We round it to 10 kilopascal. Using this pressure we get 2393 from steam table then multiply by 0 0,85. Then H1 will be equals to 2034,05 kilojoules per kilogram. HC is equals to CPW brackets TS minus TC where CP is specific heat capacity of water at 4,187 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. TS is taken from the steam table at 10 kilopascal pressure and is equals to 45,8 minus 39 HC will be equals to 28,4716 kilojoules per kilogram. Oh, here it's HC and here it's H1. Please correct that. 28,4716 kilojoules per kilogram. So now let's substitute all values into heat balance equation above. Mass of steam MS is given. Steam heat H1 and condensate heat HC calculated equals to MW is what we are calculating. Specific heat capacity of water is at 4,187 T4 minus T3. Mass of water will equals 
1703,256 kg per minute. Since they want the answer in kilogram per hour, we multiply by 60. Now we will have 102195,37 kg per hour. B. Calculate the required air capacity of air pump in meter cube per minute. Capacity of air is VA since we are dealing with air. Let's use the perfect gas formula that says PA VA equals to M A T A. T A is the same as TC which is equals to 39 degrees Celsius plus 273 to have 312 Kelvin. Gas constant I is given as 0 0.288. Since we have air leakage, let's calculate the new mass by multiplying 83,33 with 0 0.85 divide by a thousand. is equals to 0 0.0716 kg per minute. Now let's calculate the partial pressure of APA. Absolute condenser pressure P equals to the steam pressure PS plus partial pressure of air PA. Steam pressure PS is taken from the steam table at TC. Now let's substitute all the pressures. And calculate PA is equals to. 2,99 kilopascal. Let me draw a line here to divide for more space. Now we have all the values to calculate VA. Let's substitute back to the perfect gas formula PA. VA equals to M A T A. Therefore, VA will equals to 2,124 cubic meter per minute. C. Calculate the air capacity of air pump if air is cooled down to 22 degrees Celsius. Air capacity is VA. Cool down to 22. This is the new value for TC, which is the same as TA in Kelvin. Since we have new TC, we will have to calculate the new PA using the Dalton formula. Absolute condenser pressure is still 9,997 equals to PS at TC from steam table which is equals to 2,75 plus PA then PA is 7,247 kilopascal. Using the perfect gas formula again PA, VA equals to M, A, T, A. We have all the values to calculate VA, so let us substitute into this formula. Therefore VA will be 0 0.832 cubic meter per minute. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and like for more videos.